Hi, and welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on inverse functions. It says find the inverse of the following function. So I'm going to start by writing this as y equals x minus 5 or x plus 10. And then my favorite part of this is I am going to swap x and y. Then I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to write x equals y minus 5 over y plus 10. So this is tricky. I need to get the y out of the denominator, and the only way to do that is to multiply both sides by y plus 10. So I'm going to say y plus 10 and y plus 10. On the left-hand left side, I'm going to get x times y plus 10 equals those will multiply, divide, reduce to 1, equals y minus 5. Now to get rid of the parentheses, I'm going to distribute the x in. xy plus 10x equals y minus 5. Now, I want to get all of the x terms on one, or sorry, the y terms on one side and the non-y terms on the other. So I'm going to subtract y from both sides xy minus y plus 10x equals negative 5. And I'm going to rewrite this all up here. xy minus y plus 10x equals negative 5. Now I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. So I have xy minus y equals negative 5 minus 10x. Okay, so cleared my fraction distributed to get rid of parentheses, moved my x, my y terms to the left, my non-y terms to the right. Whenever you move a term, you use addition or subtraction. Now I need to isolate my y, so I'm going to factor out a y. So essentially, I'm dividing a y out of those two terms, so I have x minus 1. Remember, when you factor, you can eliminate a term, so there's still a 1 there negative 5 minus 10x. I don't need to factor out a 5. This is not about factoring. It's about getting y alone. I'm going to divide both sides by x minus 1 so that y equals negative 5 minus 10x over x minus 1. All right, so we could go through and do the test for inverse functions, but we've already just done a lot um, so I'm just going to leave it there and know in my heart that I did this correctly, except I need to write f negative 1. Inverse function of x equals negative 5 minus 10x over x minus 1, because I want to write it in the right form. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks!